Hey everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. Well, last week I done a video on this movie, Twister, uh, and it's a beautiful release from Turbine. Uh, I done it last week, and I did say in that video that I was buying another release uh, from the same company. And I'm a man that always keeps my promises, and yes, the video today I'm going to be doing a review and unboxing for this film, Daylight. It really is a fantastic movie, and again, Turbine done a phenomenal job on this release. Uh, I will take his around it very soon. But in case anyone's wondering what the film is about, it's about these armed robbers that uh, flee into a tunnel. Uh, they're being chased by cops, and they flee into this tunnel, and they crash into these uh, trucks that are carrying toxic waste, which results in this huge explosion that basically caves in each end of the tunnel. And it's basically up to Sylvester Stallone. He was a, He's an ex-medical um, service chief. And he is basically sent in uh, to see if he can actually save the remaining survivors uh, before this tunnel basically collapses. Uh, you just don't see movies like this anymore. It's a great film. I'm a huge fan of survival movies. Films like, um, the you know, The Tower Inferno, uh, the, um, the Poseidon Adventure as well. You just don't see films like this anymore. And this film really is. It just hits all the beats. Uh, I think it's a fantastic movie. Um, the film has a it has a mediocre cast. I'm not going to lie. You know, it has the likes of Sylvester Stallone, Viggo Mortensen's in it, in it, but even though he wasn't really known at the time, uh, you got a woman named Amy Brenneman, which I've never really heard of again since this movie, and you've gotten also a very young uh, Daniel Harris. Uh, it was directed by uh, Rob Cohen, who directed films such as The Skulls. He also directed the first Fast and the Furious movie. He also did uh, the Dragon, the Bruce Lee story, amazingly. And ironically, he directed Dragon Heart, which is going to be my next uh, pickup from uh, Turbine. They brought out three editions of these, uh, Day Daylight, Twister, and Dragon Heart. So that is going to be my next one. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to get it, but I'm hoping to get it very, very soon. Uh, this film had a budget of uh, a little over 80 million, and even though it didn't do well in the States, uh, it still managed to gross 160 million worldwide. Uh, it was critically panned as well, even though the audiences seemed to uh, appreciate it a lot more. So yes, I watched it the other night, I had a great time with it, I still love this movie, I always did, uh, from the minute it came out. And uh, I have to admit, it was like uh, watching it for the first time, seeing this release of it. So right, before I get into talking about the transfer and the Dolby Atmos soundtrack, uh, I'm going to take us quickly around this and show you everything you get with it. So uh, let's get to it. Right, so here we go, daylight. And... Uh, that is the artwork that we know and love. And uh, like I said, the print on this cover is not as good as Twister, but it still looks absolutely remarkable. And uh, just like I said in the previous video as well, this slip cover, it's not a hard box, but it just feels a lot tougher than your regular uh, slip case, which is quite brilliant. So uh, yeah, that is the, uh, the cover. And uh, I'll take us around to the spine. And again, as you can see, it's just slightly, it just looks a slightly wider than your regular uh, slip case. And uh, you have Turbine on the top there, and you've got Daylight in the middle, and then Universal at the bottom. So, uh, yeah, take us around then to the back of it there, and then there is uh, all your features. Um, I'm not quite sure what features are actually on the previous Blu-ray. I didn't actually check it out. But um, there seems to be a good amount on this one, and uh, I'm going to have a great time checking some of these out as well. So I'll just bring you in close here if you want to have a close look at the uh, technical aspects of it there. And uh, I will just roll down, and there is a closer look at some of the features as well. So there is, like I said, quite a few in there. Is uh, It's always great to see, especially for a film like Daylight. So, uh, yeah, that is the entire uh, box set. Oh, wait, no. I'll show you at the top of it there as well. You have Daylight written on the top. And uh, as right in the bottom, you have Universal. So, uh, yeah, that is the slipcover. So I'm going to open it up. And just like the Twister release as well, uh, they, they didn't put the credits on the back, as you can see, which I'll get to now in a second, which is always great to see. Uh, but not unlike Twister, Twister has this one continuing picture, uh, where this one is two separate pictures. So uh, yeah, take us around to the spine of it again. Again, it's the same as the slipcover. And then it's the back of it there. So uh, yeah, and I will open it up. And again, like I said, Twister made one picture, uh, where this one, yeah, is two separate pictures. So yeah, loving that. I'm loving the way that they don't put the credits on the, the, the disc box, because like I said, they're on the slipcover. You don't need to see them anymore. So, uh, yeah, I will quickly take his around here. I'll, open, I'll show you the disc first. So, um, this is your Dolby Atmos uh, disc. Uh, a Blu-ray as well, of course. And then this is the, just like the Twister release, uh, this is the one with the, this is the Blu-ray with the Aero 3D. I think that's what it's called. 
So uh, I was told by a few people exactly what that 3D is. I'm not going to get into it, that, that what that sound is. I'm not going to get to it in this video, but uh, if you are interested, just type in and you'll find out everything you need to know about Aero 3D audio. So uh, yeah, that is the other disc. And then you've also got uh, a, a, a booklet, which I'll show in a second. And then that is the inside of the uh, case. And uh, again, looks absolutely extraordinary. Uh, Turbine has done such an amazing job in this release. So uh, yeah, that is the discs themselves. And then that lastly brings us on to the booklet. And uh, again, like the Twister release, uh, different artwork on the uh, book, which is always great to see. Uh, so at the back here, it says no light, no air, no time, no escape. It's very strange because these are these are German releases, and everything uh, is basically in English, bar this booklet, unfortunately, and of course the back of the slip box as well. Uh, even though there is some English to be written across some of the the book as well. So uh, yeah, I will run you through quickly this uh, through this book. Um, I really need to get some German lessons from the amount of stuff that I'm buying from Germany at the moment. Uh, it would be nice for once to be able to read some of these books. So uh, yeah, that is the book itself. So yeah, folks. Um, so you got a book there. You've got your that's your box as well, and then you got this incredible slipcase to go with it. So uh, yeah, that is your daylight release. Right, folks, so there you have it. That is everything with this sesh. And again, really, I'm digging the artwork on it. I think it looks absolutely amazing, even though it's not quite as good as Twister. Uh, I just found the print on the picture is not near as good as Twister's one. But I still think it's a fantastic release, and I cannot wait to get my hands on Dragon Heart because the, the artwork look on that looks absolutely stunning. So uh, that's definitely one to keep an eye out for in the future. Right, on to the, uh, the new HD transfer of this movie. Now, I don't know how true this is. Now, I've heard, I don't know if it is true or not, but I've heard that these are based off 2K scans. Uh, and now, again, I can't really confirm that, but I've heard a rumor that they apparently are. Now, I watched this, I knocked on my previous Blu-ray that I had of it. I can tell you this now, if you have the pre previous Universal Blu-ray, you can throw that away and now, you won't need it anymore. Uh, the HD transfer on this is absolutely stunning. It really is stunning, uh, almost to the point that I felt like I was watching a 4K transfer. That's how good this looks. There, now, it has issues, don't get me wrong, which I'll get to now in a second. But I have to admit, the fine detail in this picture really looked extraordinary. Some of the close-ups, especially when you see the close-ups of our faces, when you see the amount of detail, I, I'm not kidding you, you swear you are watching a 4K transfer. I have never seen this film look as good as it does on this disc. It really is remarkable now the only problem i had with it was the color on it there's um the color is a uh, definitely a lot more richer just like the twister uh, uh release i showed uh the picture the colors yeah just popped a bit more you know there's a bit more vibrant and the colors seem to be a lot of a lot more vibrant on this release to the point that some of the flames in this look a bit kind of overblown they do and they just look very unnatural now it's not all the time but it's just on certain shots where it just looks it just doesn't look right but having said that, it's this is a minor nitpick on an, what is really, really a beautiful HD transfer. Now, there's a rumor going around that this film and Twister are going to be getting 4K uh, releases this year. Now, I have to admit, if that is true, then, you know, going by the just both releases, there is not much they're going to have to do on them 4K releases to get these films looking absolutely pristine. Uh, I think this is the, for, the first layer of paint, basically. Uh, and all I have to do is put on the second coat uh, for the 4K transfers. They really do look that good. But the real winner here is the Dolby Atmos soundtrack. Folks, I am not kidding you. Uh, my fiance was sitting with me, beside me, right here on this chair. And the first thing she just said to me was, she just looked at me and she went, powerful. That was the first word that came out of my mouth. Now, I've never used that before on an Atmos soundtrack, but I'm going to use it here. Yes, powerful. Every, I can't even pick one scene out in this movie. This film is relentless when it comes to its Atmos soundtrack. If right from the get-go, from the opening score, you know you are getting something truly remarkable. Uh, the, the score just belted out of every single speaker, which was really was amazing. The dialogue on this as well. Uh, it seems like they've done something with the dialogue. It's almost like they they turned it up a notch because they knew that there was so much going on in this movie that they didn't want the dialogue to be drowned out. So anyone that kind of has them issues with their audio with their audio setup, trust me, with this release, you're not going to have any trouble. Uh, the dialogue is clean, it's loud, and it never gets drowned out. And trust me, 
That's saying a lot because you will not believe some of the things that goes on in this movie. Again, I cannot pick pick out a single scene. There is just so much. Uh, it is one of the loudest Atmos soundtracks I have ever heard. Every single speaker just gets a wallop. It really is that good. I can't praise it enough. And I have to admit, and I never thought I was going to say this, but it actually leaves Twister to dust when it comes to the Atmos soundtrack. And Twister is phenomenal. I really can't praise this enough, folks. And again, if you are a fan of Daylight, get over to the Amazon UK, pick this release up from Turbine. Trust me, the HD picture is one thing. The Atmos is another thing altogether. It just really is something special. And uh, I really do think you're going to love it. So, yeah, Dragonheart is going to have a lot to live up to after seeing these two movies. So that is it, folks. That is it. Just a quick review uh, of this amazing film. And uh, again, like I said, get over to Amazon UK. Do check it out. It is absolutely phenomenal. So that is it, folks. That is it. So as per usual, if you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you could do, leave your comments down below and let me know what you thought of this film. Again, I'm such a huge fan of it. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you all again real soon with my next video. So take care, folks out there, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.